everyone, Jordan here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Please hit that subscribe button so that you know when it's time to hang out with the boys today. I've got two awesome kits. This is the high grade 144 scale Gundam Battle Breaker Log Gundam Live Lance Heaven from 2021, as well as the HG XXG01D Gundam Death Scythe Colonies Liberation Organization Mobile Suit from also from 2021. I've got both of these kits. Uh, from Michi's Toy Box. Please go check out Michi's on Insta and the Facebook if you're gonna get yourselves some awesome Gundam kits as well. The goal with these two guys is to open them both, build them both, customize them both slightly, and create a cool 1v1 diorama of these, these two awesome mobile suits battling it out because I think it would look really, really, really cool. Looks at the box. All right, let's get in. Starting with the Live Lens Heaven. Here is the foil sticker sheet when it comes with that guy. It's not too bad. I mean, you know, if you're just snap building and using stickers, it's totally okay. Here's the injected gold polycap sheet. That's unusual, but kind of cool. Here we've got Runner A, the multicolor runner. You've got yellow, white, some clear blue parts, some nice detail, a surface detail actually as well as some very light gray on the bottom. Next, an injected gold runner B1. Some joint parts, the hands, the back of the hands. Again, an injected gold runner C1. More joint parts, looks like the knees. And even more injected gold runner C2. Some more joint parts. In more very light gray, Runner D looks like uh, some of the weapons for the actual lance. Next up, in a sort of uh, very, very light blue, or uh, maybe kind of light purple, uh, Runner E1. It's almost white, but not quite. Kind of purple. Here we have Runner F. This thing is really cool. This is the Live Lance. It's in a blue. Uh, it's kind of rubbery. And it's got these really beautiful uh, pieces of glitter in there for the blades. Very cool. Next we have Runner F1. Just some of the wing backpack parts and the back skirt. And the final runner in here is Runner F2. Here's a quick look at the guide. So clearly here's where some of those gold stickers are going to go. This is a normal standard high grade. Shouldn't be anything too, too uh, difficult or confusing. On the back side you got some posing options. As well as again the Gundam Battle Breaker Log inspiration here. Looks like it's inspired by the Death Scythe Hell as well as the Gundam Visargo. Ah, I see, I see. Color guide there. We plan on painting it exactly like that. Uh, blurb about the main pilot. All right, cool. All right, here we go with the Death Scythe. Here is the polycap sheet, no big deal. Here's the foil sticker sheet. Very, very, very minimal. V-fin red eyes and two cameras. Here's Runner A, your multicolor runner, and the very, very, very dark blue, uh, some yellow and some red, as well as some real black. You can see the transition right there between the super dark blue and the black. Hey, this looks familiar, Runner B1, basically exactly the same, I believe, as the Runner B1 from the other kit. Some more very similar style looking parts here on runner C1, even more familiar parts here on C2. This is exactly the same runner D from the Live Lands Heaven. Runner E1, lots of similar parts again, main torso parts. And here we go, runner E2, final runner. Man, these look really nice. This neon green really glows. Really nice. 
quick look at the manual. Nice painted up posed version of the kit. Open it up, color side. Even less stuff in this kit. There's just way less because there's a very minor backpack. There you go, blurbs. Some posing options. Describing the weapons. And your right, guys, we are back with a full buildup of these two. The Death Scythe and the Live Lance. Interestingly, having built them both at the same time, they are very, very, very similar kits. As you can see from the waist down, they're almost identical. The legs uh, use virtually all the same parts. Um, other than that, though, uh, yeah, there's some other, other bits that are the same, but uh, the upper half, as well as the backpacks, are, are clearly different. Uh, these guys, I, I did quite a bit of customizing already. Uh, I hit them with some decals, as you can see. Um, I hit them with some panel lining, as you can see. And I hit them with a uh, matte top coat, as well as uh, some seam line, seam line removal here on the calves. Uh, this, this side came out better than this side, as you can see. Kind of a hard thing to remove the seam lines on these guys because of the, the groove here. To get in there and actually get it, get in there and sand it down is kind of difficult, but it comes out okay. Seam lines hidden on the shin because of the, the panel line. These are very very cool little kits. Um, let's see. I also did a fun little upgrade on this. This piece right here is an extra piece from the live lens, so I just cut it off, glued it on, and gave myself the double blade. It's pretty cool. This has so articulation here as well. The blade, the lance, has some articulation here, as well as the fin, and optional short short blade or long blade. This guy here you can pull this energy blade off. Close that guy up, and it's cool. It's it's got a ratchet in there. So one side moves, the other side will move too. Pretty cool. In general, they're pretty solid, except the hip connection on these guys. Not good. It's it's very, I don't know, maybe it's me, but they don't seem to hang on to this thigh, thigh joint too well. This side's okay. This side is just doesn't want to hang on. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I gotta do some thickening. Come on, there. Okay, and what else can I tell you? Live Lines has some cool clear parts. Cool, unique head sculpt. And of course, the backpack is super cool with this folding, closing gimmick. It's supposed to close all the way up, wrap around his body. It's not the easiest transformation. It's a little stiff. Something like that. So I went out, everybody, and I picked up this thing. This is intended as a... Uh, if you own some kind of lizard, you can put this in the enclosure, and the lizard can have some place to hide and crawl around. I thought it was going to be an awesome base for a mini diorama to set these guys up to battle. So let's check it out.
What the hell? Freaking flat tire, bro. Every damn time. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> what was I saying?